Welcome back to our friend productions where I Brotherhood of the Sunlight am uh, am about to embark on the other side of, of this undead settlement. And I damn it, I always keep forgetting every time I go back to the damn bonfire, I always forget something. This time I forgot to give I forgot the I forgot to give that item to uh to Ray Rat. Eh, well, whatever. We'll, we'll worry about that at, an, at another time. Make sure, make sure there's nothing here. There's nothing here. There's nothing gonna sneaky sneaky up on me. There's always gonna be something sneaky sneaky up on me. But luckily, it's not gonna be those guys. No, 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 no. Instead, it's gonna be this guy. This guy just hanging out over here. <laughs> That's fine. As long as you're prepared, you take an eye out, take a, uh, a clo keep a close eye. Oh! Keep a close eye on where you're going. You, you, you'll be fine. And, um, yeah. He actually backstabbed me. That little bitch. You know, now that I think about it, that sword actually might be pretty cool, too. It, if he, if a, if a enemy is holding a weapon, Nine times out of ten that he can drop that weapon. The Cadicorous Shield? Fun little shield. Oh. Hey, you stop throwing Stop throwing shit at me. Whatever. I'll go I'll go deal with the roof before I come back up here. The guys on the roof, they're actually, uh, they're kind of annoying. They're little dicks. And all you need to do is kind of come over here. They're actually blocked for a goddamn second. Fuck. Okay, so that was bad. They throw daggers and they have a pretty long reach, so once you once you can kind of block their path, they should kind of start coming at you. You son of a dick. Yeah, this is why I said those guys were actually super annoying. If you didn't take care of them ahead of time, they can be really annoying. Because they're fast movements and their want of stabbing me in the eyeball. Yeah. Yeah. Usually anything that wants to wants to kill me, I, I don't really like them. Here we go. A couple fire bombs. They're useful. Uh, you're gonna pick up a lot of fire bombs throughout the game. Notice how that guy was actually taking less damage. I don't know what it is about this particular little skeleton bastard, uh, but he's durable. Like, he hurts. So if you're really not careful, just, you know, just don't expect him to, to one shot. If you, if you killed all the other ones in one shot, he, he might surprise you and probably knock you off a cliff. Or at least put you, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll die. Don't worry about it. Just, just, don't, oh, shit. Wrong way, wrong, wrong way. He'll get you dead. This is not the only thing over here. If you jump on this side, you open up a different path that you normally can't get through, and you can actually only get through by jumping through there. God damn it. Wow. 
Yes, yes, yes. That little axe is just dead. That little weapon of here, his is annoying, and I also thought I was gonna hit him. Um. Damn. How am I, how am I gonna get this? No! It falls, it falls. You're gonna have to go the long way to get that. Unfortunately, the, the likelihood of me actually making it to there without needing to die or something is gonna be slim but we're gonna do what we can because there's actually no bonfire in between here and where where it's taking me I gotta be super careful and by super and by super careful it means I have to go and like face check this area without you know without precaution oh wait there is a bonfire I completely forgot about that. The reason I forget about this bonfire is this is actually a bonfire that a lot of people will miss. Mainly because in the first, in the beta, it didn't exist. Yeah, no, I completely forgot about it. Most, most people actually don't completely, uh, oh, forgo this bonfire because it just I don't know it's just it's one of those things it's just kind of out out there in an odd position now here is a guy that is cool little little dude and also the Pyromancer Extraordinaire. Ah, unkindled, are we? Welcome to my abode. Your abode is a cage. I am Cornix, an old Pyromancer. A crow in his cage, as you see now. But here we are. An encounter for the ages. <laughs> I hear the unkindled make for fine vessels. Care to learn some pyromances from this old man? Yes, I would love to learn. Oh! <laughs> Aha! And welcome. I, am I did not mean to here. stab you in the chest. It is a good thing idea. I caught you in a loop because if I had killed you, I would have actually killed you. Um, I apologize. Most wise to read the pleasure. <laughs> You know, if you can disappear, why why the fuck are you just hanging out in here? It's like I'm all I'm awesome and powerful. If I want if I wanted to, I can just disappear on a whim and and leave. And yeah, he's holding a pot of dead bodies. Or holding a pot of body parts. It would be amazing if that was a weapon. It's not. I w really wish, though. Just sometimes. Sometimes you just want to want to have a weapon that is just, you know, just full of, just a pot of dead bodies. Right, the, fly the fire clutch ring is a really useful weapon if you are if you if you hate fire. Uh yes, I what the hell? There's this random string in the world. And it just goes all the way up to a It just it just comes down from this tree. At a super odd angle. It's it's a weird little glitch that I've actually never seen before. Come on, drop your weapon. Drop your weapon. That's not your dropping wep of your weapon. You suck. 
No, but the reason I the reason I decided to come back here or this path instead of going the forward path is one for the bonfire, which I completely completely forgot about. Two because I can you know get these guys. There's an ambush. It's not a great item. It's not a great ambush, but I mean, you know, if it's an if it's free, I may as well get it. I'm gonna have to open up. There's a door up there. That is all the way over there. You see right there. Uh, that I have to open up from the other side. I ha I cannot open it from from here. So I have two, uh, there's two paths I can take. This is the second reason I wanted to come down here first. This path actually leads to a, a bullshit, uh, a, an opening that leads to a bullshit encounter. If you look very closely, you can see it. You can't see it. I, where, what happened to my firebombs? Yeah. It's Willard. It's a dead Willard. Now with that out of the way, you can open up this door, and this door takes you right to here. Uh, if you remember here, if you remember, we were just here with uh, our last bonfire, and again, you know, see, you see right there, there's a there's a crystal lizard, but I have to go the a, a long way to open, to actually get him. So I'm just gonna keep going down this path. So that was the second reason why I decided to go down this path. The third reason is something that we that we have to do in order to um uh to meet an old old friend or sorry a good buddy of ours. He's not old because he's new to this game. And also to help us with a few things that are gonna come out and try to kill us. Oh yeah, you throw your pots. Yeah, the throwing of the pots is actually not cool, man. Somebody had to make that pot. Somebody had to like, you know, say, hey, I'm gonna put make this pot. It'll be big enough so you can put body parts in it. Is this gonna drop anything? No, you're not gonna drop anything. Uh, of course you're not. Again, I, part of this is easier for me because I've played this. Part of it is easier because I'm using a heavier weapon. If I was using a lighter, a lighter weapon, it would take triple, if not double. Sorry, it would take double, maybe if not triple, the attack to actually cause this amount of damage. They also stagger because I'm doing so much damage at one time. You have to do that force really, really fast. It was it, for right now. It'll take th three of my attacks. Um in order to do that and it'll take a shit ton more for our for our attacks to kind of do a few things all right increases fire attacks but compromises damage uh, absorption sorry I, I lied this is not for fire attacks this is for fire this is fire for attack this is for the fire defense no this is bleed defense this is fire defense this this weapon is kind of cool Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? Why, yes. Yes, I am. All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Hmm. No matter. Heed my words. 
If you've any sense, you go find a coffin to huddle up inside. You, here, in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. Oh, you mean that abandoned church? You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. You mean that abandoned church Enough where death, death is waiting? Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> yeah. You mean that abandoned church where death awaits me and I will die time after time after time? If like the others you'll think of... <laughs> or, how about this? How about I save the princess? Why, hello. Hello, princess. Unfortunately, I can't save her right now. What I need to do is make my way down there. There are altered... There are two paths. Yeah, there are two paths that I can go. Both of those are lazy, but it, also, neither of those are the reason why I actually decided to come down this way in the first place. If I come down this way, I get to meet the most amazing man ever. Why, hello. Why, hello, man in an onion suit. Pardon me, I was a... I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm... Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Why, no. Well, I if I wonder mistaken, what happens. they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, well, that... Hmm. Now, a lift that only goes down, you say. Well, it's almost like there was a lift that goes up instead of down. Now, to test out this theory, let's jump back up. We'll go up. And if all things are correct, uh, Sigurd will be gone. Sigurd. However, did you pull such a disappearing act? Oh no, he seems to have been gone. He seems to have disappeared. Whatever am I gonna do? I'm so lonely. Oh wait, let's go this way. Uh, there are four reasons why I came here and I forgot about the fourth reason. Um, the third reason is this guy. There's a white birch that comes up, uh, there's a white birch that this giant protects. And it's gonna be right there. You might not be able to see it because of this ledge, but that's actually where we were. And if we went out further, you see what looks to be this little, shiny little white birch. And this guy, this guy, this guy's a, uh, he'll shoot shit at us with his giant bow and his giant arrows. But if we were really, really nice to him. Who are you? I... I love your bow, your bow is awesome. I help any time. Why, thank you. I help any time. The young, the young white birch is a nice, is an, a little item you can use really for only a few things. But what it does, it makes you blend into the environment. And you look just like an, like an item that you would find in the environment. Obviously some items and some items are better. There's nothing that looks like this here. But, you know, I digress. You take any damage, you take any fall. Or you move, you do something, it's, uh, it's gone. It's useful for PvP. Um, outside of that, nothing else. Hmm. 
Why, hello, Sigurd. Mm. Fancy meeting you here. Mm. Ah, oh, don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. Did you now? <laughs> How marvelous, Sigurd. On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought, then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Well, you didn't Anyhow, know all the way up. Do you see that? That humongous beast? I mean that thing? I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. It does kind of look. How now? Think like twice the before you go down that road. Well, Sigurd, my man, you may fear the fear the Reaper, <laughs> but I like murdering things. And by this, I mean I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna shank him in the face. No. You should have waited. No. Well, it's too late now. Eyes, word of the knights of Catholic. Oh shit! Fight by your side. Hey Sigurd! Sigurd, go, go do something. Go, son of a, stop chasing me. So the first time this happened, this really freaked me out. Uh, not for the fact that um, not for the fact that uh, the key was a. Difficult. He's a difficult boss. That Sigurd, an NPC, actually made such a uh, a mark, like notice of what I was doing. In, in past games, like there's something like this would be, he would just kind of like, he would just kind of look at me, and later he would be like, "Oh man, I can't believe you took him out by yourself." <sighs> that was quite a performance. Yes, it was. But you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. But for the moment, we've a toast to make. To your valor, my sword, and our victory together. Damn right, Sigurd. We take Who out the big the guns. Sun shine? <laughs> oh yeah, Sigurd's the sun, bro. Well, I'm going to have the only thing. <laughs> He gives some of the he gives some of the weirdest emotes. He, he's so like nonchalant, like oh man, you shouldn't have fought that thing without me. And then you fight it, and then he joins you. He jumps down, comes to save you, and then he give and then he goes to to bed, man. So you just drop this down. Then he just goes to bed. He just does like this and just nods off in the middle of enemy enemy territory, doing all this bullshit. Um, there is actually a useful set of armor, which I might like. I don't... Yeah, the, this armor should, should work well for me. Oh, wait. I have the northern stuff. What changed? Oh, right, my pants. I uh, I actually was not. Why did? Seriously, what actually changed? All oh, right, it's because I was I was I didn't have the uh, the northern armor. I had the deserter armor, I think. Uh, no, no, this wasn't it. I, I actually don't know why. Oh, right, right. The Master's Gloves. That's what it was. Yeah, um, I was just getting back my fast roll. I, I, re I really like the fast roll and uh, the in the ability to not, you know, what's the word, uh, die from stupidness. So we're gonna clear up this area, and look, you would think this would fall down. He's discolored. He's weird. He's oddly, oddly, like, highlighted. But no, no. 
it's just the light of um, the certain angle. You, yeah, those guys, those guys are discolored. Usually, if you can find any sense of item out in the world that just seems a bit too easy, it's because it's a trap. Don't, 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 don't fall for traps, guys. Traps suck. Oh, suck. Hey, guys, don't fall for traps. Don't be like me. Falling for a trap that I actually know of and remember. Oh, come on. Am I, am I seriously going to miss these things? Aiming without being able to lock on is really annoying. You know what? I'm just going to walk here. No? No? Okay, whatever. The trigger for to summon up these guys is this chest. So I'll just open up this chest. And the chest doesn't give you that much. It's just a human vine resin. Human vine resin is very much like um is very much like the fire and the lightning that we've used in the past. It's a um it's a dark element. So it Fuck you. Let's see if I can pull one of these, uh, one of these guys down here. Huh? There we go. Their, um, their AI tells them to stay up. Shit. Uh, that was close. If the the blue tear stone ring didn't actually pop at that time, I would be dead. Uh, back to what I was saying. The Madame de Pompadour's up there. Actually, their AI kind of limits them from going downstairs, so you can't really you can't really pull them like I did. However, what takes precedent over that is the um, their ability. To, oh right, their ability for their movements or their steps to to put them in places where they, they don't normally, they're not normally supposed to go. Very much like the, um, very much like the, uh, very much like the samurai from the beginning of the game. If you can get him to, like, move his footing into an odd position, he will inadvertently they will inadvertently fall in the places where the the game doesn't really want them to be but the game is smart enough to to not like completely freak out uh, what is over here oh right i know what's over here what's up here is a ring flynn's ring it's a cool little it's a cool little ring that I will not actually, uh, that's what, which I will unfortunately not be able to use to uh, any decent extent. Uh, Flynn's ring, and I'll show it in a second, just because it's it's a useful ring, but it doesn't help me right now. Hello, Z. I wanted that set of armor for this alone. The Chloranthi ring uh, raises stamina recovery rate. Just not a lot, but it helps. It's definitely going to help. Now the Flynn's ring, low if by lowering your equipment load, it raises your attack. Meaning that if you're if you're practically naked, 
the amount of attack damage that you do is going to raise exorbitantly. Um, I'm going to be able to show it off much better than one would normally. Than one, than, one, than one would normally be able to later on in this playthrough because I'm already going to have a high equipment load. So we'll see that later, but it's going to be a while to see any real uses for it. Early lower levels, you're you're barely like scraping the you're barely scraping underneath the bar. It's going to be a while, but we'll get to that in a second. I'm I'm going to go back. Um, I'm going to go back here, save it to bonfire, call it a day, and we are going to go into the next area. What's what is killing you up there? Oh, no, before we do that, we actually, we can actually go level up a bit, and maybe I might be able to use the, I might be able to use that weapon I picked up. Well, it's very well, then take no. All right, strength to 24, yeah. Farewell, me. Yeah, so I now have a slow roll, but I do have this badass giant machete. <clears throat> Which does have some stupidly powerful moves. And just for clarity's sake, his skill sharpen, scrapes the blade to sharpen for a cleaner cut. You know, I wonder if I, I wonder what happens if I just take off the, the shield and leave my helmet off. Yeah, this will work for now. Now that is a sparkly weapon. We'll be running around with this for for the foreseeable future because I mean it is a giant machete. And if you cannot enjoy if you cannot enjoy a giant Just machete, I I don't think you and I can be friends. I don't have enough tiny Oh, I do have enough tiny shards. I just don't have enough souls. <laughs> This is actually one of the reasons why you should always hold on to these um, these little soul soul things. All right, so this is actually going to bump it up really fast. Um, it's going to go from 167 plus 34, which is almost 200, to a direct like 2 220 to 30, just with um, with one upgrade. Uh, oh, right, before we go. Let's talk to Greyrack. Oh, hello, you're back and in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Whatever trinket just don't ask me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, as I mentioned, he got, he has some pretty cool stuff. These broke firebombs, if they, they throw behind you, these throwing knives are obviously really powerful. Uh, sorry, not powerful, but useful. They're useful in pulling people. We'll be buying a lot of these. He also has dag uh, like a dagger, the bandit's knife, long sword, bastard sword, spear. He's one of the only people that you can buy, and you can actually buy a light crossbow from. And uh, just like uh, just a few helmets. Also, the fire arrows. The fire arrows are gonna be really useful. Um, not a lot, but do me a favor. Give this. A we do have to give him Loretta's bone. Now, I don't want to buy anything from him anytime soon, which is the only reason I'm giving him Loretta's Bone. If you give him Loretta's Bone, he kind of shuts down and he won't talk to you for a while. Heavens, she was already dead. Thank you. Almost a relief, really. You can keep the ring as... <laughs> you can keep as... <laughs> so yeah, if I try and... Goodbye, all oh, this place is... <laughs> Well, I guess I, I guess I actually can talk to him. I guess they changed that. He, you shouldn't be able to. Oh, 
champion of ash, welcome home. This pilgrim with a debt, and I never would have had you not taken me in. I thank you dearly. Right, in the um, I completely I forgot said, about what he this guy I does. Was once a, alas, the magic, but I can teach you. Perhaps I believe that I can help tease out your true strength. We pilgrims of Londor are keenly aware that those branded by the dark sign possess something quite special. Very special, special. As I mentioned, he's got some uh, some basic stuff. They're actually not useful. I think the only one he he in particular has some that the others do not. Uh, I believe is the magic weapon or magic shield. No, I think he's pretty much useless by himself. However, if you want, if you want, you can use the draw out your true strength, and by doing so you can level up for free well free is a bit of a, of a misnomer if you level up it requires a bit of a hollowing effect now in the past games when you died you became a hollow you look like a zombie in this game even after your death you still look like Champion a human of ash. it's only when you are you you use an ember or whatever do you become human that is glowing red and sparkly like I am now. If you pull out your, if you pull out the true strength, no matter what happens, you will re remain ugly and zombified, and you can use it up to five times. If you use him five times and level up, uh, you can return to your your old, your true self. It is going to require require double the amount of souls of the level you currently are at. So if it's level one, it's not bad. It's like maybe a thousand souls. If you were a level a hundred, it is it is an exponential growth, and that's not to gain. That's basically just to get what you look like back. Yeah, it's. I don't think it's worth it, but it is worth it for certain. It, for certain endings of the game um, my previous playthrough I did it and I did one ending that you could never do you could never do unless you did that ending or that specific line of dialogue and whatnot uh, anyways it has been fun I'm gonna call it a day for this episode I'm just gonna take a nap it's been like it's like five o'clock in the morning I have work school and work tomorrow so I'm gonna just take a nap right here just uh, I'll see you guys later my name is Chris don't forget to leave a like leave a comment leave whatever the hell you want and I am gonna see you back tomorrow where we're gonna go fight a boss or three and then we'll just go on from there all right guys I'll see you later <laughs>